I haven't seen this movie since it was released in theaters. Yet I know it like I just saw it. This is my curse. This is my paddle scar. <laughs> In the Wicker Man, we... I'm not even going to even freaking try to freaking even try to sum up what this freaking movie's about. The Wicker Man is single-handedly the worst film I have ever seen in my life because I saw this film once in the theaters. The fact that I even paid money to see this movie, you guys, just is the dumbest decision I've ever made in my life. The Wicker Man is like, I think like over an hour and 30 or 40 minutes long. And those are an hour and 40 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. But the problem is, is those hour and 40 minutes still plague me today. They still get under my skin today. And that is why The Wicker Man is the worst movie of all time. I see so many awful movies, you guys. So many horrible films. I mean, nothing ever plagues me as bad or gets under my skin and lives there. And I have no idea how to get it out. No idea. That is The Wicker Man. This movie consists of Nick Cage being Nick Cage in a Nicolas Cage movie, asking a bunch of people who are not Nick Cage questions, and then not answering Nick Cage. It's like, what is the purpose? There are so many moments in this movie that just don't make any sense. Like, Nicolas Cage is this cop, and he, like, pulls over these people, and, like, this little girl, like, throws her bear out in the road, and then, like, a truck hits them. And it really goes nowhere from there. I think, you know, sees her, the little girl from time to time. But that has no significance or anything to what's go really going on. And just when you thought this movie couldn't get any worse, they put Nicolas Cage in a bear suit. What in the world were they thinking? Thinking with this movie! And the ending is the dumbest thing I have ever seen in my life. So all these crazy women have got him, they've got him hold it tied down or whatnot, and they're putting this thing over his head because they're getting ready to sacrifice him to the wicker man. And Nicolas Cage delivers the funniest line, the single-handedly one of the funniest lines ever given in a movie. No, not the bees! No, not the bees! Not the bees! Remember, you guys, I paid to see this film in the theater. I saw this in a movie theater. Uh, the dialogue in this movie is so horrendous, you guys. Now, The Wicker Man is a remake to an original film, and I've actually seen the original film. It's weird, bizarre, it's like a musical. I can understand the love for the film, I truly can, and I can understand why people appreciate the film. It's not my, it's not for me either. Sometimes it takes a couple of bad movies to kind of destroy an uh, actor's career. For me, it only took one. After The Wicker Man, I have never been able to watch a Nicolas Cage movie the same. As a matter of fact, I've kind of boycotted all of his films out of my life because I just don't enjoy them anymore. Walking out of The Wicker Man is the only time in my life where I have walked out of a theater saying... It just destroys everything I ever love about movies. It makes it a joke. As a score would go, I'm pretty sure you saw this coming. I'm not even going to give this movie a rating. Like, it, there's no purpose that serves this film. No purpose at all. Like, it is the worst film I've ever seen. So why would in any shape or form would I ever show any kindness to this film? So there you have it, you guys. There was my rant on The Wicker Man. What did you think of this horrible, disastrous remake? Um, are you one of those weird people who are like, I think it's so bad that it's good and we make fun of this movie all the time? Please let me know. I'm not going to hate you if you are, though. I'm not going to hate you if you are. Please let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, you guys, I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been slashed.